Hello and welcome to the Savvy Gadgets channel with me, Ven UK. Today we're looking at Star Citizen and the recently released 3.5 patch. Okay, so it's good news everybody. 3.5 is now live on the Persistent Universe for you to play around with if you didn't bother with the PTU. So, what does that bring us? Well, it actually gives us some nice bits and pieces. So, kicking off with uh, what we first get is we get some new character details and we get a new mission giver called Tisha Pacheco. Now, she's down a back alley on one of the new uh, moons, which are called Arc Corp. So, uh, once you find it, she'll give you a mission to go off and get a package, which is, well, drugs, and bring it back to her. And or bring, put it in uh, one of the deposit stations. Now, when you get there, you'll face off some AI, or some NPC, guys to shoot and so you can walk around the warehouse and pick up the, the, the specific package you're looking for but you will have to search for it however this is an interesting sort of twist on the gameplay and because you're in a live universe with other people when you pick up this mission if you take too long to do this mission a secondary mission will be uh, posted for other players to pick up to come and stop you and destroy the package so that's quite new that's quite an interesting gameplay and, and core mechanic okay so moving on uh, dna face customization uh, comprehensive, uh, comprehensive facial customization for all characters and here's a biggie uh, we can now be a playable female character yes you can actually be a woman in the game now which is fantastic news Okay, so locations, as mentioned, Arc Corp, the Arc Corp planet and moons. So you've got the main Arc Corp planet, you've then got uh, say Lyria, Walla, uh, and Area 18 landing zone. Okay, so, so the universe has expanded, and we now have some new planets to go and do missions on. Now, having seen the, the main Arc Corp planet, it is an absolutely beautiful piece of scenery. If you haven't been there, get over there and take a look. You'll see what I mean. So, AI, so FPS, uh, collision avoidance. Uh, so, integrating AI collision avoidance and locomotion systems. So, NPCs no longer need to leave their paths in order to avoid obstacles, players and other NPCs. Uh, basic gunship behaviour. Uh, improvements to enable gunship crews and to make better use of turrets and gimbaled weapons. AI flight model updates, adapting ship AIs to the revised flight model. And uh, combat behaviour improvements, various improvements to make the combat against AI ships more challenging. Oh god, oh, like I need that. Gameplay, uh, Star Marine, uh, Demian comms and quality of life improvements. Collection of new content features and bug fixes to improve Star Marine experience. Uh, one of the ones that is probably the most bizarre is one of the maps had melons in it. And if you shot the melons, it basically made the game crash. Uh, but that was a while ago, and hopefully that hasn't reared its ugly head again, but it's still fun. Uh, system heat. Uh, improving the current heat systems to support systemic gameplay and customization. Okay, so with... Um, your ships you can now overclock them yeah so you can run them faster but also run them hotter which means you need heat dispersal and all the rest of it that goes with that so you need to if if you really want to get into the nitty-gritty of uh your ship and overclocking it and all of the heat that goes with it then then that's great because you can now do that uh, so there's a lot to go in. AI bounty hunting, bounty hunting environmental missions. Implementing environmental missions where AI can police unlawful players. Ha 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 ha. So if you go out there and you're naughty, the AI will hunt you down. Excellent. That's just what you need. I suppose unless you're in a lawless system, I suppose. Uh, vehicle scanning, HUD improvements. Uh, implementation of scanning and ping features to the vehicle HUD. Uh, AI Distress Beacons, implementing a Combat Assistance Service Beacon mission. 
Uh, you quite often see uh, beacons pop up that you can pick up and for people for transport, or they need help with combat or one thing or another. Vehicle radar, vehicle radar system updates to support environmental environmental impacts. Uh, further improvements to the quantum travel system. I really don't get on with the quantum travel system. For some reason, sometimes I just can't get it to initiate. Vehicle scanning improvements, update to the scanning system, adding ability to create and detect false signatures. Ship system now, degradation improvements. Okay, so this is all part of the overclocking uh, and general running of your ship. Your ship will slowly degrade and it will need repairs or replacements. And if you overclock components or systems, they will need to be replaced sooner rather than later. So you have been warned. Okay, vehicle tech updates version one, vehicle implementation improvements, uh, group system improvements, voice and face over IP improvements version three. It's looking really nice, it has to be said. Uh, distortion damage improvements, enabling distortion damage to work, uh, whether used on weapons or on the environment. Gimbal Weapon Improvements Version 1, Extending Delivery Missions to the Arc Corp Planets. All right, ships and Vehicles, we have a new rover called the Ursa Rover Fortuna. Uh, so that's new to the game, a Anvil Hornet F7CM Heartseeker uh, is a new uh, Heartseeker variant in the game. Rework on the Origin 300i. And rework on the 315P and the 325A and the 350R. Uh, Misc Reliant Tanner. Uh, new combat variant variant of the uh, Reliant in the game. And a Misc Reliant Sen, another variant. And the Reliant Mako. Okay, weapons and items. Uh, the Tachyon Cannon, the, or sorry, the Banu Singe Tachyon Cannon, creating and implementing of a new ship weapon. Oh, nice FPS uh, weapon, the Gemini S71, or S71. Uh, Galleonson Tactical Systems GT870 Tarantula Revision. Oh, God, that's a bit of a mouthful. It's not something you'd come up with in conversation, is it? It's a, hey, look at my gun! And the Castac Arms Coda, which is a sidearm. Now, Cortec Network Object Container Streaming Stall Fixes. If you remember, Object Container Streaming came out with 3.3. It made a massive improvement to the FPS. That is going ongoing, and there have been rumours that there have been some more improvements in 3.5. The new flight model has been released. Now, the interesting point about the new flight model is, uh, whereas you, when you approached a planet and you got to the planet's surface, you could just hover above the ground. And it, nothing would really happen, you'd just stay there. Gravity now takes an effect on your ship. So it will now f f fall towards us. So you need to sort of, uh, sort of to manage that a bit better. And the bigger the ship, they have downward facing thrusters and you have to put them down so that you don't crash. So, you need to be a bit more careful with how you pilot your ship around a planet. Okay, so projectile manager, performance improvements of a ship and FPS weapons, uh, projectiles in preparation for larger battles, um, improvements to the hard service, hard, bleh, hard service surface shader, if I can get that out of my mouth, and of course, performance optimizations, which I've already mentioned. People are saying that it's a little bit better, I've not seen this myself. But perhaps I will have a look and see if I get more than 30 frames a second, which seems to be my limit on my old system. Now, my system hasn't changed, so maybe it's a, a quick test would be in order. Okay, so that's what we've got on the roadmap. However, with a new patch comes new problems. And the major known issues are when exiting the options menu on the character customization screen, the options will remain up, disabling the player's ability to control uh, w A, press escape. Go back to the customizer. Customizer. Uh, if the player exits the game with the Moby Glass still open, they will return to the universe with a blurry screen. Um, work around. So it's what W A is. Uh, close the Moby Glass before exiting. 
Delivery boxes can fall through the floor. I really, really, really wish they'd have sorted this out by now. And you would have thought that at this stage in the game, the boxes wouldn't be doing that. But they still are, and it really needs to be fixed. Ships do not leave behind cargo when destroyed. Ratto's hologram is missing. Ratto's entry mission will sometimes fail to complete. Some Area 18 labs lack atmospheric pressure. Oh, well, that's lovely, that is. So you walk into one of these labs and instantly suffocate. Great. Ships can exceed their speed limits by turning slightly while acceler accelerating. Cool. So I remember something happening like that in Quake if you walked diagonally. Uh, so, look, glad to see nobody's learnt anything from that. Weapon projectile tracers occasionally uh, diverge significantly from the player's point of aim. Uh, that's a bit of a, a bit of a bad one. So you shoot at someone and it just skirts past their head. Uh, dying with chat open may cause the player to be unable to respawn correctly. Walk around, well, walk around, work around, relaunch the client. Trying on clothing at Kazabar Kaz and sometimes result in the loss of armor pieces. Lovely. Ship bed lo logout may be unreliable or inconsistent. Stowed items can sometimes appear attached to the player's legs. Switching to external camera from the pilot seat and back when reset the HUD and chat. So, there's a lot to look at there and a lot to enjoy. So, get out there, get some feedback, tell me what you think. If you haven't subscribed, click on that subscriber link. We'll keep you up to date as much as we possibly can with these regular quarterly updates now this particular update is the usually they they knock them out on the 8th or the 10th it is actually the 21st when they released it so they're a bit late with this one to be fair so anyway hopefully you found this uh, video useful and kept you up to date if it has hit the subscribe button hit the bell icon so you keep up to date with the notifications so when i post a new video you get it now, don't forget, I don't just deal with Star Citizen, I do with other games as well. If you want me to uh, review or have a look at another game, then fantastic, let me know. Anyway, once again, thank you for listening. Hope you've enjoyed it. See you in the next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.